It was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. That was good. Feeling older. I'm tired all the time. <laughs> like I stopped just doing things. Like I don't even read anymore. I just buy books and then take pictures of them. <laughs> Post those pictures to Instagram. So people think I'm small. And I think that's a genius move. <laughs> but I'm starting to feel more responsible. Like, I finally changed my ATM pin number, so it's not the same as my NBA Jam password. <laughs> I have eccentric musical taste. I like a lot of different types of music. Thanks mostly to the BMG Music Club. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it was a company that would send you about 12 CDs and then just hope you would send them money. <laughs> they are out of business. <laughs> but I love them. Cause growing up, they helped me expand my horizons. Cause for every rap CD I would get from them, I would also get one that my mother would call a white people CD. <laughs> and that's the one I'd have to hide under my mattress. <laughs> or I'd wear headphones all the time. So if she came nearby, I could pretend like I was listening to rap. So she'd come near me and I'd just be like, and bitches doing shit like they do trifling. <laughs> you know those classic rap lyrics. <laughs> but what I was really listening to was, you know I'm such a fool for you. You know some real cranberries type shit. I'm a hardcore crayon here. <laughs> Lately, I've been real into making like vision boards and dream boards and shit. Okay, you on there? You okay, 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 okay. You got to. Why else you living? If you don't got dreams. If you guys don't know what a vision board is, where you take a list of goals, you can make a collage, you can do whatever you want with it. You have a list of goals, things you want to accomplish. They could be for your personal life, your spiritual life, your career. You could just put things you want to buy. It's okay. <laughs> and you put that someplace where you can see it every day. I put mine in my bedroom. So as soon as I wake up, I sit up and I can see it. And I can go, okay, these are the things I'm gonna focus on today. These are the things I'm going to accomplish this year. And then sometimes those things actually happen. <laughs> but most of the time they do not. <laughs> it's very frustrating. But you still gotta have dreams, you gotta have goals, you know? A couple of years ago, in my apartment complex on New Year's Eve, I was having this little vision board party, just hanging out. <laughs> oh, you know how to be? <laughs> we was just getting faded, supporting each other spiritually and shit. <laughs> yeah. And my best friend, Gabe, was there. Uh, and Gabe asked me, he's like, what's your biggest dream? You got to be able to say it out loud if you want it to come true. And I was like, my biggest dream, to tell you the truth, Gabe, is I, I want a home base. I want to be able to have a house for me and my son. And then the next New Year's Eve, we had another vision board party in my brand new house. <laughs> And I was like, oh, shit. Why didn't I ask for more stuff? 
I don't use that word often. In fact, I struggle on whether or not I should use that word at all. And I don't believe we should ever use that word to hurt people. But I do believe we should use it to shame our pets. You guys are on board already. <laughs> you should be, it's just fun for everybody. <laughs> and it makes sense. If you own a cat, that's an asshole. <laughs> or a parakeet that thinks it's better than you. <laughs> oh, you think you better than me just cause you can fly? You! <laughs> oh, flying ass <laughs> wouldn't be shit without me. <laughs> I buy your bird seed. <laughs> I buy the scarves you refuse to wear. Wear your scarf. <laughs> That's my favorite sentence in the world right now. Wear your scarf. When would that ever come up? Just very considerate wintertime gang members. <laughs> like, don't forget the drive by is later tonight, but it's cold and flu season. Wear your scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Protect your neck. <laughs> it's been a wonderful year for me. I recently turned 30. I like that I turned 30, because now I feel I'm gonna love the things I enjoy until the day I die, which is mostly ignorant rap music. <laughs> if you can rhyme titties <laughs> with titties, <laughs> I will buy your album. It's difficult to get your friends into it who don't already enjoy hip hop because rappers make weird first impressions. <laughs> One of my favorite songs starts off with the line, and I probably <laughs> your bitch. <laughs> That's a horrible way to introduce yourself to me. I guess I'll put this cheese plate back in the fridge as this dinner party has taken a turn. <laughs> I love having a son, though. I think the best thing about it is that it made me want to be a better person, be more responsible, get a better job. I didn't do that. I got into comedy. <laughs> Mostly because I found out real jobs are so difficult to acquire. If you can even get an interview, they want to know way too much about you like the soundtrack of your life, or what type of tree you would be. And I'm a bonsai. <laughs> but that's my damn business. <laughs> if you get past that, there's a drug test that's never fair. One time they wanted to give me a mouth swab drug test, which is where they take a piece of cotton rub the inside of your cheek to get your DNA, and that's how they find out what you like to do. <laughs> and that's against everything I believe in. Because there's no way I'm gonna let you take something that you made my people pick 200 years ago. 
and then turn around to use it to deny me a job? <laughs> if I knew that's how you treated your employees, oh, I would have never have taken the time to duct tape this Cheetos bag full of urine to my leg. <laughs> That was a waste of mine and my son's day. <laughs> Having a son made me want to get a better job and be more responsible. And I had a good job before he was born. I worked in tax services, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Not if you're preparing the taxes, but if you're the guy dressed as the Statue of Liberty, popping and locking. <laughs> It's pretty cool. <laughs> it made me feel like a black superhero. Cause I thought me dressed as Lady Liberty, dancing to One Nation Under a Groove, <laughs> has to be a skinhead's version of the apocalypse. Were you guys aware that 40% of all North American cats are obese? Oh, that's not anything to chuckle at. It's an epidemic. And I'll repeat it so we understand the gravity of this situation. 40% of all American cats are obese, which is only great news if you love fat pussy. Here's Skittles. Thank you guys so much. I'm Ron Funches.